How do other companies do venture capital? How did you do venture capital investing before you invented the Signal Fire methodology? Right, so I mean, most venture firms start to dig into different markets, and then they'll go around to conferences, they'll go meet with influencers and experts in various domains, and basically run around Figure out asking what's going to on. be directed to potentially interesting companies. Let's and talk to people and find out what's going on. Finding the way. needle in the haystack, yeah. right? By comparison, we start from first principles on what we think are the most important things in any given market, and then we actively and proactively track those things in real time. Give me some examples of some data that you track. So we track everything from consumer behavior, spend, uh, engagement on apps, those types of things. We track the movements of talent with inside the tech and venture industry. Well, well, let's, let's stop there. Yes. Tell, me, tell me about that. So the talent is the lifeblood of the, the tech world and uh, engineering talent in particular is the most fluid commodity. People vote with their feet every day on what companies they join, whether they think their options are going to be valuable, whether they want to stay at a company, and it's reflective of the culture, the prospects of the company, and many other variables that are critical to building great companies. So you track to see where, how do you track to see where these great engineers are going? Well, we don't go into all the methodologies of what we do, but we track over us. 10 million different... Just, ignore the, cam <laughs> the, the camera that I keep putting my hand in front of. Ignore that um, one. Ignore that one. That one over there. <laughs> over 10 million different sources. Uh, there's, there's things all over the internet of where people are going from company web pages to fundraising profiles to regulatory filings and social networks and everything in between. Or and, and, you, and you have this in a... Well, let me show you my Bloomberg terminal. Okay, so mm -hmm. when I log into this computer right here, I have a special launch pad set up, and it looks like mm -hmm. this. Shows you a ton of information. You can see it on that screen over there, mm -hmm. over there. And you can see, I, I've got, I can see with the S&P 500, what's, the, what's red is what's down, and what's green is what's up. On the left are all the major indices. There's details on a couple of stocks over there, and some earnings stuff, and so on. And I've got over there, I've got kind of earnings growth of different companies. And I get that all in a second. Yes. Does your screen look like that as a venture capitalist? Yes, a lot like that. We have over, over six million companies. Six million companies that you're yeah. tracking. And, and will you change your investments based on, on that kind of data that's just popping up on your screen at a given moment? Yeah, I mean, it's different than the hedge fund industry that's more you know, able to trade live on an exchange because you have to be invited in to companies. Right. And so you have to solve for five different things to win. You have to see things early. And so the system certainly helps us to see that. Right. We also have a network of about 50 advisors that serve as effectively scouts for the organization. And then we look, we have to analyze the companies and make the right investment decisions. So that's the judgment element. That's still a human element. And the, so that's not a data thing. You're not doing yeah, data well, I mean, analysis to figure out the value of a company. Not, not so much to figure out the value of the company. You, can, you use it to do comparables analysis for sure, to right. see whether this is the best team in the industry, how far downfield the competitors are, that type of thing. But fundamentally, but, if you're doing that, you've got to rank the quality of the engineers through mm -hmm. your own intrinsic notion of that. And Warren Buffett, who famously bases all his investments on intrinsic value, also says there's no methodology to intrinsic value. It's just kind of figuring out what you think something's worse. Yeah, and it also radically differs depending on the, the sector. So in a uh, semiconductor company, it looks very different than what are the key sort of values versus a, a social networking company versus a, a transactional business like Uber. So Does this also mean that you've got a, a, a more diversified portfolio uh, in, in because you need to sort of uh, weight these companies differently based on what's happening in the market? So I don't know that it impacts the diversity of the portfolio, but you certainly have to take different approaches to each different sector. And so there's not, everyone asks what the most important data source is. It's the combination of all the different data sources and the weighting of what the importance is depends on what sector you're pursuing. And I've got to imagine, on, on some level, this has got to help you, uh, and I don't mean this in a pejorative way, but it's got to help you uh, raising capital because you can go to, to pension funds and endowments and say, we have a distinctly different approach, yeah. it is thus. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't get into the, the details on fundraising, but um, I can say that being massively differentiated from all the other venture firms and having a totally novel story is, is very helpful. But there, in, on fund one, it was, people were very skeptical. You know, how can data be used? Can you still win? So you also have to solve for that problem. You have to have the magnetism to win. You have to be able to add a lot of value to the companies. And so this doesn't just start with sourcing and monitoring. It goes all the way to, uh, to helping portfolio companies. So, you know, we, we build uh, systems that directly plug into the applicant tracking systems for recruiting for our portfolio companies and have real-time alerts on when people are likely to change jobs and those types of things. What do you mean uh, real-time alerts on when someone's likely so to change So we it? actually extend then, all the way out to Chrome plugins for our portfolio companies so that the founders and the recruiters at all of our companies can gain access to the visibility into where there are potential opportunities for recruiting. So you are sharing your, in the same way that someone who's smart might, might spend the money to get a Bloomberg terminal on their desk, 
you're, you're letting, you're essentially giving this data feed to the companies you're invested with so they get the strength of that tool. Yeah, so this is, a, this is, a, this is as much about helping the companies win as it is about finding the companies and making the investment opportunities. And then we have a network of 50 advisors that are all wired into the system, similar to how you might look at Uber. There's a, an advisor version, there's a portfolio version, as well as this sort of God view that we see centrally. You're more Uber black than Uber X, I'm just going to say. <laughs> all right.